From apps to store discount cards to websites, your personal information could be at risk of getting into the hands of the wrong people. But our next guest says there are a few simple ways to keep yourself protected. Joining me now is Howard Schwartz, Executive Communications Director for Connecticut's Better Business Bureau. Uh, this is such a timely issue, uh, Howard, because last week we heard all about Anthem Insurance and that security breach. It happens more than we think. It does, and there are probably a whole lot of cases that we're not hearing about for mm -hmm. security reasons. But I think we should realize that we are giving up of our own volition information, our name, our address, our location, all sorts of information when we do things like sign up on a, a website or register for a discount card. And very important, when you're downloading a free application. And you can assume that any information that you do hand over will be shared or sold to a third party. And that's a really big problem. So what type of info are they looking at? I mean, it seems pretty innocent. You just want a 25% off coupon or something. But you do have to fill out a, an extensive form, it seems like. That's right. And at the very least, they're going to ask you for your email address and your name, possibly your telephone number. But I was going to download an application uh, that was simply designed to get rid of duplicate applications. And it says we collect the contacts included on your mobile device and in your address books. Uh, your location, your gender, your user ID, and contact information. Now get this, they wanted any email stored in my email account and any future emails that Yikes. I would send, as well as my interest and account information. Let me emphasize again, this is for a free application <laughs> that was simply designed to get rid of duplicate contacts. And when I saw that, I said, not a chance. I'm, I'm one of the few people who reads fine well, print. Well, usually you just click it and move on. Exactly. What, I mean, you have to look at the fine print there, obviously. Well, definitely in this case, I was just amazed. They also wanted to check incoming mail to see the names, addresses, telephone numbers that was, uh, wow. that was in the email coming into my account. But then you could even be putting your contacts at risk, right? Well, that's a good point. When we get viruses or when somebody or a, an app raids your contact book, it has that information and it can start sending out information or sending out emails spam emails to your mm -hmm. friends and nobody wants to do that to their friends no. if, if they like them anyway. <laughs> so what do we do? What are some steps to keep us protected here? Very first thing we should be doing is reading terms, conditions, and privacy policies. All right, so don't skip over it. Don't just click the box. Read it. That's right, aka fine print. Mm -hmm. um, that's very important because it's not only what are you giving up in exchange, but how that information will be shared. And that applies also to financial institutions, utilities, virtually any kind of interaction that we have. Check the privacy uh, settings. See if there's a clause to opt out. There should be. Um, and the Federal Trade Commission is being very aggressive. Uh, it sent out letters to 60 advertisers, tw uh, 20 of the 100 largest ones, telling them, hey, you are not disclosing properly. You are not telling consumers what they need to know to make an educated decision. Mm -hmm. So basically, the writing's on the wall. They've got to clean up their act. And as for us, the example that we just saw with that fine print shows exactly when it is done properly what we are getting ourselves into. We sure. have to decide whether a free app or anything else. Is it really worth it, is right? It really worth it? <laughs> but uh, and also, we, do you have to pay attention to where you're, if you're using a public computer, if you're in a library or someplace like that? where it might not be protected? Well, that's always a concern. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking on one level about what goes on with our own computers, but when you go to a public place, whether it's a library or you're using your own device on a free Wi-Fi oh, network, sure. you don't want to be signing into your social media accounts or giving your credit card number out um, on the computer because it's very easy for somebody to sniff out what's going on in your computer or set up a fake network that you'll connect to in a coffee shop or somewhere sure. else. Be very careful. Very good. Thanks for the advice, Howard, as My always. Pleasure. Thanks, Teresa. All right.